Hello everyone. Um, in this video today I'm going to show you how to make a shaped card using regular shapes that you have um, imported from somewhere else you bought on the online store. Now you can see in my library down here there's like a shaped card here pre-done, a top note design. Now this is a pre-done shape which is fine but if you don't want to buy these shapes you can make your own um, custom shaped cards using the regular shapes you have. Now I'm going to show you uh, how to do this using the mirror and the weld feature in the software. So first I'm going to start off by opening this six bracket labels um, shape that I purchased on the online store back when everything was 50 cents. And you actually get six shapes. It's a Lori Whitlock design if you want to look for it. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it, right click, and then I'm going to click ungroup. And this will allow me to move each shape individually. Now I'm going to go back by pressing Control Z. And as you can see, if I don't unlock them, they're all stuck here together. I, you have to ungroup them to work with them individually. So I'm going to select them, like I said, and then go down to ungroup. And the shape I'm actually going to use is, for the first one, is this um, still this kind of top note shape here. So I'm just going to drag these off to the side. Now you can actually click on these and then hit delete or backspace on your keyboard and they'll disappear from your workspace, but it doesn't change your app, your file. So if you go create this project, close it out or save it or whatever, and then you open that shape again in your library, it'll still be there. It'll still import all six shapes. So just because you deleted it here, doesn't mean it's gone. So, um, yeah, I just lost my train of thought, sorry. Uh, I'm actually going to change gears. I'm going to use this this piece right here because you'll be able to see a little easier what I'm talking about because this shape isn't symmetric here. So I have this shape, and I'm going to click on it to select it. And then on my top menu bar, I'm going to go to the replicate window. And it looks like almost like a flower. And I'm going to click on it. And with the image selected, I'm going to click mirror. And depending on how you want your card to open, you're either going to click mirror right or mirror left or mirror above or below. Now, I need this I need the other half of this card, which would be the front. So I'm going to click mirror left. And now I have an identical image to the right-hand side. However, if I go and I cut this out on my silhouette, it's going to cut straight down right here where you see this red line. Now, you could leave this as it is and then score one half of it and tape it together, but I'm gonna take it a step for, further so it's just one card. And how I do that is I go in, in and select one of the shapes on one of the sides and I'm just gonna use my arrow keys just until they overlap a little bit. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it. There's just this little slither of white where you can see the two shapes are touching right here. So now I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to highlight the entire image and then go up to the top right hand corner to the modify window and I'm going to click weld. And now you see that center line is gone. Now this is going to cut as one image and you can just score it using your bone folder. So that's all it takes to create a shaped card um, into mirror. Let me know if you guys have any questions and thanks for watching.